Hello everyone, my name is Running Batman. Welcome back. Today we've got Wreckage from Modern Warfare 2 on the Veteran difficulty. Let's have some fun with this. So this one is very similar to Suspension, where in Suspension you had to run across the bridge and make it to the other side. In this one, the goal is pretty much the entire opposite of the first one. You have to basically eliminate all of the vehicles around. So there's about 36 vehicles. You have to destroy them all. Uh, you don't really have to make it all the way to the end, but you just have to get rid of the vehicles and they happen to be up top as well. So right now I'm going to start off by moving all the turrets I can up to the front, where I believe the majority of their guys are going to come in from. I have the AK-47 with the grenade launcher attachment and an RPG. Usually there's going to be guards coming on in, but luckily... The more vehicles you destroy, it says right there on the right side of the screen under vehicles and time, it says wreckage in five. Once you destroy five vehicles, you will have a wreckage sort of mode going on, which means you'll have unlimited ammo. So basically you can just rain grenades down on everybody and it's super simple, like not a problem at all. I'm going to try to take a couple shots to hopefully get rid of a large mass of the cars with the RPG. Unfortunately, I end up missing both of my shots. The RPG is not very accurate, if anybody has ever used it before. But I enjoy it more so just because A, it's the only one there compared to the thumper. B, it's just the raw power behind it is just magnificent to me. I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. Uh, at the beginning of it, it gives you several mostly explosive weapons so rpg thumper things like that uh grenade launchers on all of your rifles and whatnot and whatnot and they do give you a couple of turrets which is very helpful for eliminating guys so again because we have these turrets you want to use those more offensively than defensively continue to move them up on each side either the right or left or however you want to set it up when you do get the wreckage for infinite ammo, I'm literally just raining grenades. And it's a pretty good idea because it takes away any sort of time to reload a gun or, you know, if you fire off a grenade launcher, you still gotta put another one back in or an RPG, you still gotta put another one back in. So it just keeps throwing grenades and it simply saves time and effort. The infinite ammo doesn't last forever, however, so you'll want to keep that in mind when you're doing this. When you miss a couple of the vehicles, it'll have little target indicators on them and you'll have to go back and eliminate them. I tried to throw a grenade here at these three cars, but it didn't end up getting any of them, so I ended up having to shoot them and that's how they're gonna blow up this time. So just like in suspension, you gotta move up eventually, there's gonna be that slow-mo effect. You have to get up top and sort of fight your way, but there's, you know, of course a lot of cars and a lot of guys and just basically get on up there, use infinite ammo as soon as you can with the wreckage, and then just throw a billion grenades. It's super simple that way, saves you a lot of time that way as well. So right now my infinite ammo count is at about 40 seconds, which is pretty high, I would say. As long as you can keep racking up the wreckage, then you're fine. When you get up to the top as well, it's the same scenario where troops drop in and there's a helicopter. But there are two additional turrets as well, which you can set up for a total of four. What I try to do is I'll set up the turrets and then I'll go back down and get that last one. And just let the turrets sort of mow down any other troops that are in the way. The helicopter was kind of peeking in there. I remember last time it was giving me some trouble, so one shot with an RPG, and it's down. So now helicopter's down. I've got about 17 vehicles left. I get a wreckage in one. Three minutes, about 20 seconds into it, and there's only the guards left with a little bit of helicopter support. So basically just duck behind a car, let your turrets take them out as best as possible, and when you get wreckage, rain grenades, because that's just what we do in this. Unfortunately one of my turrets was shot enough and just disabled, as you can see when it flops up there. The rest of my turrets do a pretty good job at eliminating the enemy as they try to advance towards me.
Again, just take cover behind the cars and let your turrets do the work. When you do get the infinite ammo from the wreckage, I got about 30 seconds here, so I'm just raining grenades as much as possible. So I'm just continuing to fight up top. Hopefully I'm going to move up and eliminate the rest of the cars. Cover yourself again with these turrets. Use grenades when possible. I don't think I thought he could hide from me there. But no. Nobody can hide in this. It's too many turrets. Too many explosives. And as long as you shut them up the right way, then you can't be shot. It's Well, you can be shot, but, you know, they can't make it anywhere close to you. So the good thing about wreckage as well is that when you do blow up one car, usually it causes a chain reaction to blow up several more. So a grenade launcher way towards the back of the bridge there usually would set off one car that's standing next to three. And then those three would then blow up and that will lead to the ones next to it and so on and so forth. At this point now, I think just about all the guards are dead, but I want to continuously throw grenades just to make sure of that. Again, I didn't realize that there were four, and I'm looking around from up here, but they're actually way at the beginning behind me. So I run forward, there's no more guards, I'm looking around like, where are the rest of these cars? And then it dawns on me, oh, I must have forgot them back there, and the targeting pops up to confirm that. So you slowly just make your way back there. Uh, use whatever you can between grenades, a grenade launcher, RPG, thumper, whatever, you know? I tried to shorten my time by shooting a little bit downrange from here as soon as we find that first gas truck, but they were really far back and I didn't realize that, so I'm trying to take a couple shots, but to no avail. I think I ended up getting one actually with a thumper. <laughs> 